friends i hope you're all doing well i'm also fine today i'm going to share you how you can install uh, magento in aws so let's get started the first uh, thing uh, we need to do is we need to go to aws marketplace and search for magento and if you do search you will see a lot of uh, marketplace products are available for magento uh, the most popular is Bitnami, so I'm going to choose Bitnami here. And then uh, you need to subscribe. I already subscribed, so I see view subscription. Click here. Then I will uh, I will be redirected to a page where I'm going to launch a new instance based on the Bitnami AMI for Magento. So let's uh, let's wait for that. So here you can see Bitnami package for Magento. Let's launch it. Continue to launch through EC2. Then I'm going to give a name here. So Magento. And the rest I think you can keep it as it is so all those things are automatically selected if you come from the launch configuration screen from here so uh, here um, the instance image is selected the server type is t3a medium and the security group it will create a new security group you can keep everything as it is the only thing that you need to do is choose the key pair I already created one key pair for Magento, so I'm going to use that. Let's use this, and the rest you can keep as it is. Now click unlaunch instance. So this will uh, start a new instance based on the uh, Bitnami Magento AMI. It might take around uh, 10 minutes time to get started because the Magento is quite quite heavy, and it requires to learn a lot of. Uh, background services processes install a lot of tool services etc so uh, once you have initiated the process you need to wait for at least 10 minutes and then you you can use that so i'm going to pause the video for 10 minutes and then i will come back again when the instance is ready for testing okay so i'm back uh, the instance is now ready and we can connect to that instance so let's go to the details of the instance here so this is the public ip and uh, i'm going to connect to that instance through uh, terminal SSH, I, uh, Magento, and then uh, the username is Bitnami at the IP address, right? Yes. Okay, let's see. Okay, I was able, successfully able to connect to that instance. Now I'm going to point one of my uh, subdomain to this server and then create an SSL certificate so let's create a new pay record like m m for magento put the ip address and now we save the record that's it so uh, the record is being saved and then i have a blog here where I have described all the commands so i'm going to copy from commands from here so we are going to install ssl certificate using uh, 
bitnami sad tools so let's go here and then run that command it's sudo opt bitnami bnsat tools domain m dot dot x y c no i don't want www uh, so click uh, m http to http redirection yes there is needed i agree so press enter So email address i at the rate of atibu.xyz Do you want to agree with this? Yes, I agree. So it is now installing an SSL certificate. might take around uh, one or two minutes so let's wait for that still processing Yeah, success. That means the SSL certificate has been issued. So, once we issue the SSL certificate, then what we need to do is we need to update the base URL to HTTPS. So, here are the commands. I can copy this command. And then trying, to, let's just uh, copy this command. I will paste this part based on my domain so uh, let's clear the window let's move on to the path opt slash bitnami slash magento right if you ls you will see all the files of the magento now we are going to run one command and then I am going to put my path https m dot dot x y c okay the cache directory is not writable let's make it writable so do ch mode 0777 so it's uh, var and then uh, page cache okay now let's try to run it Here again, one more time. Copy and then paste it here. So, okay, that's done. Let's do uh, another part, which is this one. Same paste and then we have https m dot dot xyz okay. that is also good now let's see if we can browse the site so the site URL is m dot dot xyz yeah, this is the home page of the Magento that we just set up now and it is showing SSL. Now I'm going to go to admin panel and that is there is also SSL. Good, awesome. Now you need to note the default login that has been created. So how can we do that? So there is a command available here and we can just use that command to get the password so we can uh, run this command let's go 
it one step up so it's uh, credentials so sudo cat This is the one. So do get uh, bitnami bitnami credentials. That's the correct command. Paste it. Oh, it's the path is home bitnami bitnami credentials. Let's run it. And this is the password. So we copy this password. The username is user. So this is user. Sign in. Hopefully, it does sign in. And awesome. So, you are successfully able to log into the dashboard of the Magento. And we set up the subdomain, we installed everything. Also, we did set up the uh, SSL certificate using Let's Gift. So, great okay that's that's the tutorial for today i hope you like it if you like please share with your friends and uh, subscribe to the channel thank you everyone